Welcome to another Professor Pinball creation. This time we've got a Pinduino controlling addressable LEDs in a No Good Gophers. What sets this one apart is that since the ramps on this are translucent blue, what that means is that if I was to shine the lights into the ramps, they're going to get filtered pretty heavily. So instead, this time I have the LEDs mounted on the ramps but shining inward to the playfield. So this allows us to have some cool lighting effects, but another side benefit is that it allows us to have a lot of good light across the entire play field uh, when, the, when the game is going. So right now we have an attract sequence which is just going to be sparkling in blue and then occasionally changing colors to green and white. Um, but I really like how this came together because this idea of using these not just for cool lighting effects but also to really brighten up the play field works really well together. And of course, since it's a Pinduino, it's fully customizable, so you can update and change the code. I've got this one monitoring just a few sets of flashers on the game, specifically these three upper flashers here, and then the uh, flashers for the upper play field. And the reason for that is that when it comes to these uh, WPC games, the flashers are used a lot, and so monitoring everything becomes a little overwhelming in terms of the amount of things that could be happening in terms of lighting effects. So let me go ahead and start a game. No Good Gophers is just stupid, silly, fun. Uh, Pat Lawler design, I think it was his last game for Bally's Williams um, when they were still in business. Um, and this is just a game that you shouldn't take too seriously. Just have fun with it. Raise gophers, knock down gophers, lock ball behind gophers, start multi balls, go for the jackpots, and that's usually how you get some big points. You can always, of course, go for the holes completed, which is at the put out, the scoop in the far back left corner. And um, if you work to four, you get an extra ball, and if you work through all nine, you hit a fun little mini wizard mode. So let's go ahead and play. So you can see how much the play field lights up, but also how much flasher action is happening. Go ahead and get that lock. This is a good move, a good reward, it's a quick jackpot up on the side ramp. But right now, look at how bright the play field is. Um, this, of course, is having all those LEDs shining across it.
LEDs are working in this game. Another game I'm really happy with. Thanks a bunch for watching.